Hey everyone, welcome to Crest TV, a special this week for International Women's Day. Now, why should we do a special and why should International Women's Day be just a day? Um, the two questions are asked all the time. It should be every single day and it shouldn't be a special. It should just be the way things are. It should be the norm. Um, I'm here still in Israel uh, filming this and I've grabbed uh, Sharon Shermer, who you're a systems engineer here at Crestron. Sales engineer. Sales engineer, okay. Yeah. Now, it's, it's great because generally someone's walking outside. Generally, uh, women aren't seen in these kind of roles traditionally. You know, it's great to find someone in an engineering role um, who's a woman. And it's, I think it's amazing. We need more of it. How, how have you found it? What got you into engineering um, as, a, as a career? Well, I think it's just interesting to me. I'm excited about it. I think it's funny, but uh, the first time I found out I'm excited about uh, technical stuff was in the uh, army, in my service. I was a tank instructor and I discovered that I was really excited about the systems in the tank. And I was talking about them and really, really excited about that. And so uh, uh, that's how I, 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 I learned that I enjoyed the thing. So always do what you enjoy. That's yeah, it. Yeah, totally. I think that's amazing stuff. I mean, there isn't. There, there was a study recently. There really isn't enough women in engineering in, in our industry, but I don't think in any high-tech industry or obviously generally. What can we do to get more women into this industry again do we need to make it more exciting more interesting now, what is there anything that we can do or that you find is holding women back from coming into a, a more technical background technical job um i think we should do a tv series <laughs> okay now my two daughters yep. has always wanted to be theor theoretical physicists wow. because they've watched Big Bang Theory since they were young. <laughs> so I think if we have more series with women, uh, no, but uh, that's it. Role models usually attract people into an industry. So the more women will get into the industry, it will be easier to attract more women to come in. So that's a, you know, that's a rolling. Uh, it's interesting you say about your daughters. So uh, again, a question about the daughter. I mean, what do you see for them? Do you see that there's going to be challenges for them? Is there, you know, things that you're looking at now that you're thinking, oh my God, they're going to be going into an industry. You know, how are they going to, what challenges are they going to find and face when they go and look for a job? And uh, are they going to get treated differently to their male counterparts? No. No. <laughs> I okay. believe they can do anything they want. And that's what I've always told them. And so I believe they believe in that as well. And if you believe that there's no limitations to what you can do, it usually happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. So one of the other questions is, 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 can women bring something different? Do you have a different approach? Do you find that your colleagues here in the office, or again, when you're talking to customers and you've seen the approach from maybe our competitors, or what they're telling you our competitors are talking about, do you feel that, that you can bring something different to the party or you have a different way of thinking uh, to others in the industry? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the approach is really a part of your personality. Some people are very analytical, some people are, but it's not necessarily a part of being a man or a woman. I've been, I've seen women that were very analytical about things and I've seen men that were more uh, of, a, of, a, of a going with your heart kind of people. So I, I, in my experience, it doesn't actually have to do with your gender. This is the problem, isn't it? I mean, all these questions are about, you know, black and white, male, female, as you say, it's about skills. Yeah. It doesn't matter, you know, what gender you are, whether you're a male or a female. It's about the fact that do you have the skills to do the job? Can you bring something to your? Can you add value to that organisation? And the fact of your your gender shouldn't really matter and shouldn't make any difference. If you can do the job and do it well, then that should be all that really matters. Yeah, I agree. Okay, cool. So <laughs> <laughs> it's the easiest thing to do in the world. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so is there, is there times when you've been in situations, and again, in meetings and stuff, that you felt that you've been at a disadvantage for being a woman? Is there you know, times you know, in your past where you, think, you thought to yourself that you've had uh, a disadvantage by, uh, apart from the other men in the room um, in, in the work that you've done? No, I think it's actually an advantage because I'm always the gimmick, you know, I'm something special. <laughs> so I like to start off the meeting very quietly and maybe offer everybody coffee. Okay. And then say a really technical sentence and watch the expression <laughs> on everybody's faces change. So I think I think actually uh, being a, a still a very 
a rare thing to be a woman in industry has actually always worked for in my favor. In I, my I favor. think that's brilliant. You can break those stereotypes, and you can you can you're having some fun with it. Obviously, you know, <laughs> people know. think, oh, well, you know, you're like, no, no. I can tell you. Again, I've been blown away by uh, working with Sharon this week. She's super technical and amazing in the stuff that she does. Blows me away um, <laughs> with my technical knowledge. So absolutely amazing. Now, uh, what what advice can you give to to women out there looking to get into technology? We need more women in our industry. Again. And we were talking about the fact of that the trade shows we go to, the events that we have, it's full of, it's a male dominated um, you know, event, technology and workforce. What can we do to try and attract more, more women? What can we do to, 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 to get more people um, to, to look at this and to take action on this? I tell you what, um, I think to be into something, you have to be passionate about it. You really have to be excited about it. And in the real world, I think a lot of women are less, less excited today um, about those things. But they are really exciting. They are so exciting. I mean, everybody at the office makes fun of me if, if, if a, a new product <laughs> comes out. And, and I'm so excited. About yeah, it. yeah, I'm yeah. very passionate. So, so you just have to find the right people that are passionate about it. And then you have to make them be 51st and 25 later because it's all about confidence, okay? So women might be a little bit inconfident in this field because there are not, few, uh, not so many of them. Uh, and uh, what, what I find is, is, is really helping me is, 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 is being very confident. So if someone asks me something that I don't know to answer, the answer to, I don't think it's because I'm a woman. I just don't know the answer to yeah, that, yeah. and I'll go and find out. So, but that usually comes with experience. So, if we could do the life backwards, you know, <laughs> that would help. That would be fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I don't have um, any magical solutions. I'm sorry. Okay, Sharon. One of the questions that I think that, that gets asked, you know, and this is very unpolitically correct. You know, what do you get asked the question from men? How do you how do you do it? You know, be this amazing technical foresight and have all this great information and look after your family and look after your children. I mean, do you, do you get that much? Just do people say that to you? I do get it every once in a while, but um, I think once you get to know me, you know that not all women are the same. And so um, I think it's all about choice. Some women would prefer to spend more time at home, more time with their families, um, and I really appreciate that. I'm a little bit envious. Uh, but I was always very excited about what I do. So my daughters are, I mean, I love spending time with them, but I, 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 I think that I choose every day to dedicate uh, more time to my career and my, and my day. And sometimes I feel guilty about it. Yeah, that's part of it. And every day, again and again, you feel a little bit guilty about that. But that's a choice that I make because that's the best um, life for me. Personally, mm -hmm. and for someone else, it might not be. Yeah. So it's really personal. I think the interesting point is you would you would rarely get a man being asked that that question. That no one would say to him, "Oh, how do you do it? How do you you know do your job and look after your kids and look after your family?" I think that is not something that gets asked generally of, of men. It's asked more of, of women. Oh well, how do you manage it? How can you be this super technical person and run a family as well? Yeah, but you run into different challenges because if I have to say I have to leave early today because I have to do something with the girls, everybody understands. Yeah. But if one of my male colleagues says the same and, 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 and everybody says, oh, are you going to stay late tonight? So you have your own challenges. Okay, I'm not saying it's the same, yeah, yeah. but I, I, surprisingly, sometimes it's easier to manage a mixed and family life and career for a woman than a man. And, and men today are looking to spend more time with their families. So, yeah. yeah. Now, it's interesting. We were talking about, you had some stats. So you pulled out our Facebook stats. This is for the Crestron Israel Facebook site yeah. of visitors that look and visit our Crestron Interactions, Facebook. Yeah. Interactions. Interactions. Yeah. Now, what, what do you, maybe we can share the graphic, but what did, what did you see when you looked at the, the audience who are looking at, at Crestron in Israel? 80-20. Really? Yeah. Wow. Straight, 80% to 20%, 20% women, of course, mm. 80% men. But that makes sense. I think that really um, matches what we see in, in ISC and in other spaces. Even 20% is, is, is not so bad, actually. Yeah. It's, it's a progress. We're making progress. Uh, uh, more women are getting into this business. And, and, and um, as long as we, uh, it gets even more interesting and more compelling maybe more women will come in you know 
Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Sharon, thank you ever so much for joining us on this, this Chris TV. It's not a special, it's not a day, it's every day, okay? This is, this is reality, okay? We are all human beings, we, can all, we all have our own skills, I'm good at some stuff and I'm rubbish at other stuff, okay? Just as, well, you're not rubbish at anything. Oh, okay, but, <laughs> but, but again, we all have our, set, our distinct skill sets, the stuff that we're good at, the stuff that we're not so good at, and it doesn't matter anything about the, the, you know, our gender and, and it's about what we can do and what we, the value we can bring to a role. I think that's what you all need to look at and we should champion this. And again, let's not just make it one day. It's all about the fact of getting the, the right person with the right skills for the right job. And let's try and, and, you know, pull more women and get them excited about technology, get them excited about AV and UC um, and get them into these roles and champion this. Because again, they may bring us more thoughts and more different ways of thinking maybe um, than we have in the industry. So again, Sharon, thank you ever so much uh, for joining us. Thank you all for tuning in to this one. Uh, hit the bell, ring the subscribe, and all that good stuff. Always get it the wrong way around. And we'll catch you on the next Crest TV uh, every week coming from us here at Crestron.